Hello everyone, my name is Krista Brown and I'm presenter 626 with Unique. I was lucky enough to have joined on June 1st of last year. Um, I was one of the very first Canadians to join and I was underneath of Kelly who is the only black presenter that is international and in Canada. So I'm really fortunate to be on such a fantastic uh, line here in Unique and I just wanted to share my why with all of you. So I just got back from convention here last night and like everybody else on a complete high of meeting all my Y sisters at Unique. I hope to see all of you guys next year in Chicago and I know that um, there's going to be a whole bunch more there. So I'm so excited that we're on this path together. Uh, when I first joined with Unique, I, my background is actually aesthetics, so I haven't worked the business since my son was born. My kids are now 13 and 16, so far from little babies, but I love makeup. I've always loved makeup. I loved helping people feel beautiful on the inside and the out, and what the confidence level that brings when you make somebody feel as beautiful as they are, right? So um, I haven't worked that for a long time and when I seen the opportunity I was quite excited that I could work from home. My kids are getting older and I do have a lot of challenges with uh, my daughter and uh, people who know me know the story and I won't get into that but I do have a lot of challenges and they really need me um, as a mother here in their home and the home and working a business virtually was very exciting and I was one of those people that thought do you know what why not take the opportunity and be one of the first and so I joined the company and the worst case scenario would be I get a bunch of free makeup well not free but discounted makeup and see where we go from there and that's exactly what we did and I realized very early on that this is so much more than the makeup and the products and the lashes that we all love this is a company that's going somewhere and we're really empowering women and changing lives uh, anybody who's at convention really really knows down deep in their soul that this is just so much more. Our new charity is one that just, yeah, I'll be here for life. So this is a phase that you're going to be seeing for a while. Now my why for being a presenter is also being home with my kids, of course, like many other, but I also am here because I want to keep our lifestyle exactly the same. I don't want to take away from my husband's income and I want to travel so I'm so excited to tell you guys that uh, for my daughter's birthday she turned 16 I took her to Mexico and that was just here in July just the two of us so that we have memories together um, something that she can take with her forever and remember when mom took her to Mexico and we had that bonding moment in April I took my son to Disneyland and we had a whole week of just my son and I doing Disneyland and going on the rides and bonding and having that that special time. When I got home from convention last night, one of the first things my husband asked was, so where are we going and what are we going to be doing next? And I sat down with my very best friend, Mike, who lives with us and Kyle's brother and we're planning a trip for just the three of us to go away and have that special time together. So my why with Unique is, um, First and foremost is to have more time with my family. Number two, to be able to create these memories with the very special people in my life and not take away anything that we already have and enjoy. And number three is I really see how this company is going to be able to empower women around the world. And I want the people on my team, which I love and really truly 100% care for. I want their lives to be empowered and their dreams to come true. So whatever their why is, I want to help impact that and help you achieve that. And we're at the right price at the right time and it's going to be like that for quite some time. A tip that I would give everybody on how to boost their business. I personally don't do a lot of online. I really want to improve that. So that's something that I'm coming back from convention and really want to change is doing more online. But um, 
a, a great way to improve your business is make sure that you're wearing the product, that you try the product, that you know about the product, that you're checking your back office, you're knowing how things work so that when people ask you questions, um, you can answer them. And if you don't know the answer, it's okay. You can look it up. But wear your product everywhere you go. I go out places and people will say to me, oh, I love your shadow and I love your lashes. And I talk to them. Always have a party on the go in your purse. Um, my bags actually say, ask me about my lashes that I have personally made up. My nails, were, I'm actually wearing Regal. You'd be surprised at how many people just even paying for things at the store to look at my nails and they'll go, oh my gosh, your nails are beautiful. And I'm like, well, actually, this is a pigment that we sell. And I say it's all natural, mineral-based makeup. Um, you can put it on your eyes, depending on the color. You can wear it on your cheeks or your lips, put it in your hair for chalking. And they're like, really? You can do all that with that? And just starts the conversation. Make sure you get contact names for sure so that you can follow up with people. But wear your product, love your product. Um, if you see me going around town, I often have some sort of unique shirt on. This one is from convention, but normally it says, ask me about my lashes. Um, I do find any of the shirts that say, ask me about my lashes on the front and to the back are much better just because um, nobody's going to come up to you and go, excuse me, I read on your back, ask me about my lashes. Could you please tell me about them? So I find this is a lot better. And the same as with my purse, what I'll do is when I'm in line and I'm paying for something, usually most checkouts have um, like a little spot where you put to write your checks. I'll take my bag and I'll set it right up on top. And it says, ask me about my lashes. And I'm kind of slow and I, I take my stuff out. And usually the cashier will ask, what about your lashes? So I have your catalog. Have um, I put little samples with my, uh, do I have one around? I don't. Otherwise I would show you, but I take the little sample packets and I put them in a little baggie that I got from the dollar store with my card. And I just seal it up. And it's a little something extra that you're giving them so it gets them excited. Um, I also do boxes. That's worked really well for me. So I have all my products in a box and I lend it out for people to try. That way they can try our face line and our makeup and our lashes. Um, they return it to me at the end of the week. Obviously the lashes, once you open them, they're yours. But everything else you can try. And I just feel like so many of our products are as good if not even better than our lashes. I know it's leading with our lashes but I'm telling you there's so many products that I could not live without after trying them. Rose water is definitely definitely one of them. Um, I was talking to one of my downline when we were at convention and she was saying that that is not one of her top sellers and it just kind of blew me away that that was not one of her top sellers. But um, anyways hopefully this helps all of you guys and I'm excited to see you at convention in Chicago next year and uh, have a great day. Thanks.